Hello guys, Crispy, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be testing the GTX 1080 here in MSI Afterburn, as you can see, and the Ryzen 7 3700X with 16 gigabytes of RAM and Ghost Recon Breakpoint Open Beta. So, we're gonna be playing here at 1080p, 1440p and 4K this time around. And at 1080p, we're gonna test it at high, very high and ultra settings. Uh, maybe ultimate, I'm not sure yet. Uh, as you can see now we're on high settings at 1440p we're gonna test it at medium high and very high settings and at 4k we're gonna be testing it at low medium and maybe high settings as well so yeah this should be fun a lengthy benchmark but yeah yeah let's let's have a little bit of fun here playing this game this game looks amazing by the way if you guys don't know already because i'm always saying this in all of my videos the textures and everything else look really incredible in this one and as you can see here at 1080p high settings the textures in the ground aren't very good so i'd probably play this at very high settings if i were you that's like the sweet spot to get like 60 fps i think i'm not really sure because i haven't tested it yet here with the gtx 1080 but at 1080 p very high settings should be the sweet spot to get 60 fps and pretty damn high resolution textures and very good very 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 good graphics here so yeah we're seeing like above 70 fps here on high settings which is really good to see because this game has a ton of detail as you can probably tell by this video uh, i think we have the motion blur setting turned on let me see yeah we do have the motion blur setting turned on so i'm just gonna disable that all right here we go guys motion blur is disabled we're still seeing pretty much the same fps motion blur doesn't do anything special uh, to the performance it just makes things blurry and i don't really like it but it's a little bit subtle here in this game so i really don't mind it if i was playing at like 30 fps uh with motion blur it will still be a good experience always above 70 fps i think we haven't dropped from that uh wildlife over there oh come on they saw me he's down and that one is down as well okay we got two of them here so yeah this is pretty much the most demanding area by the way of this game what do these guys have Ooh, very cool, a weapon here, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, let's pick up this motorcycle, run around the jungle a little bit and change it to very high settings after that. Wow, alright, I'm gonna get these guys over here. Oh, okay, I should probably not have done that with the motorcycle. Oh, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Wait a second. Alright, we got this. We got, alright, we got this. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, come on. At least this is on, like, the easiest difficulty here, guys. Because if it wasn't, I'd probably be dead already. But as you can see here, the textures on high settings aren't very good in the ground. Uh, there's another one here. Okay, nice. I think I... Oh, nope. That's not everybody. All right. I got everybody, I think. So I'm just gonna chill here a little bit and set it to very high settings and restart the game, of course. Here we go, 1080p. NDA leasing is on, but that only removes like one or two FPS from our experience. So if you turn that off, it actually looks way worse, so keep it on. And very high preset here. Just gonna disable the motion blur as always. Okay, so we're seeing now around 65 to 70 FPS around here. VRAM usage is around 5.2, 5.3 gigabytes, as you can see in the top left corner. Uh, we're surpassing 5.3 now. It will probably still get a little bit higher here. But yeah, let's just run around a little bit. Textures here on very high settings look incredibly good. See that? Wow, that's amazing. Lots of detail everywhere in this game. The leaves are truly amazing, the textures. I'm just gonna shut up with that because I've also been telling you guys that for the past like three videos, I think. Taking a look at some leaves and all of that stuff. Alright, got that guy. Let's keep... Uh, okay. Alright, got that guy as well. Yeah, boy. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Just take it easy, boy. Take it easy. Alright, so still a very smooth experience here at very high settings with the GTX 1080, at 1080p of course. Uh, we're seeing still above 60 FPS most of the time. I think we haven't seen it drop yet from 60. Oh my god, I can't really control these motorcycles here <laughs> very well with all of with this terrain. This terrain is actually not very good to do this, but 
Yeah, we're gonna do this anyway, right? Put it right here. It's already smoking. Okay. Uh, let's see. Are there some bad guys over here? Yes, there's one over there. Got him. Nice. That guy probably has a sniper rifle, so maybe I'm gonna pick that up. I already have one, and mine is pretty good, so eh, maybe not. No. Bye. Don't swear. You got. I'm gonna kill you because of that. You know. Yeah. If you didn't say anything, I wouldn't kill you, but... Oosh! A machine gun here! That's interesting. Where are the other ones? There. Got him. Nice. There's another one there, I think. There. Yep. Oh, that's a juggernaut. Oh, good thing. You can actually kill them with one shot if you shoot him right there in the head. Okay. So, graphics here. I think the textures... Yeah, the textures here are a little bit better than high settings. Definitely. Here. So it's a much more immersive experience on very high settings because of that. So I definitely play like this with a GTX 1080 at 1080p. If you guys have this graphics card and have a 1080p monitor, uh, I suggest, I actually recommend very high settings. Performance here is still very good, as you can probably tell. Uh, we're around 70 FPS now and we were seeing like 60 to 65 inside the jungle which is pretty much the most demanding area in this game let's get these guys over here all right good you know what guys I'm just gonna go prone here we're gonna change the settings to ultra now go prone okay thank you okay guys so we're back here at ultra settings at 1080p and the aliasing is on as you can see, this is the ultra settings pre preset, and I'm just gonna disable motion blur here. So, so, so far so good, actually. We're still above 60, so I'm probably gonna test ultimate settings as well here with the GTX 1080. Makes sense to do so. If I tested, like, ultimate settings with... Oh, got that guy. Oh, oh, that's the juggernaut. Okay, got him. Nice. But yeah, if I tested ultra settings or ultimate settings with the GTX 1060 and GTX 1650, it just makes sense to do so as well uh, with the GTX 1080 here, which is my most powerful card that I have today. I would really like to get something like a RX 5700 XT because I don't have many AMD cards and I feel like the 5700 XT is a must-have, I think, for anyone uh, that wants like a high-end experience because that GPU actually is really really good it actually almost matches the RT oh that guy is already dead okay almost matches the RTX 2070 super while costing like what is it 200 bucks less I think here in Portugal at least oh uh... Nice, got him. Here, as you can see, in this little building area, uh, the FPS are really good. Around 60 to 70 FPS here on ultra settings, which is really good to see. And actually, the textures here on ultra settings, for example, here in the ground, are a lot better than very high settings, as you can see. So, yeah, and we're actually using 6.5 gigabytes of our VRAM right there. Uh, how do I go up here? Oh, not E, of course. That's to get out of there. Come on. Get inside. No, no, not passenger seat. Oh, it's the bug where I can't go inside again. Oh, god damn it. Alright, so the stone over here actually looks a lot better now on ultra settings as opposed to very high. Still, the textures here are amazing, of course. Wow, this, this looks awesome. With 60 FPS as well, so... Damn, that's a really good experience here, guys. So, here inside the jungle, we're actually not seeing a big drop from... Uh, very high settings We're seeing around 60 59 there so we actually dropped from 60 now at ultra settings oh come on always crash into something uh, yeah now we're very very close to 60 so I dropped there to 58 57 55 54 okay so now we're approaching like the dense part of the jungle here We're seeing drops to the 50s low or mid 50s so, yeah, still a smooth experience here and completely playable in a game like this. I would have no problems playing it at, like, a locked 30 FPS, for example. So there's that. And, well, just gonna get out of here now and change it to Ultimate Settings. Right, so we're back here on Ultimate Settings. We are seeing a little bit of, like, an improvement in shadows, I think, and ambient occlusion here. I don't think we're seeing better textures. 
the VRAM usage is also still at like 6.6 .6 gigabytes so I'm gonna show you the settings now 1080p and the aliasing is on ultimate settings this is the complete maxed out settings of the game and I'm just gonna disable motion blur because well I always do that all right let's see the textures here on ultimate settings now that we are actually getting pretty good FPS here like 50 FPS is not bad at 1080 the game looks uh, completely amazing man I wow it's it's awesome every th there's so much detail as you can see here in the ground in the leaves uh, in the trees as well see that those textures are awesome man amazing they did a fantastic job here in this game so much detail everywhere uh, textures here in the ground are still pretty much the same as uh, ultra settings as I told you already we're seeing like the same around the same VRAM usage here so it comes down to like ambient occlusion and some shadows difference that's the difference between ultra and high and uh, ultimate settings i guess yeah at least from what i've seen so fps are still hovering around 50 so that's pretty good to see the game is completely playable if you guys have like a controller or something and want to play this game with a controller and the gtx 1080 it's definitely an amazing experience very immersive textures are awesome here on the stones as well so wow this is really really great looks, looks awesome man I'm just gonna try to find like somebody with a motorcycle and just go from there i just want to go through the jungle a little bit faster here so i can show you like the lowest fps possible well i think there should be some motorcycles there let's see let's get that guy first all right that guy now and is that it only two guys here there's a shopper somewhere all right let's drive a little bit through the jungle on ultimate settings here we go we're seeing drops to the 40s high 40s now 49 48 47 46 all right so that's the minimum fps that we'll see here with the gtx 1080 at 1080p ultimate settings oh come on pretty damn impressive still remember the 1080 came out three years ago and it was a high-end card three years ago it's still pretty high-end I would say still impressive performance here so you know what just gonna go prone here change it to 1440p and I'll be back soon okay okay guys now we're back here at 1440p it's actually the first time that I'm trying it at 1440p so in my native 1440p monitor so this should be looking really really crispy as I like and we're at medium settings medium settings preset over here motion blur turned off of course here at medium settings 1440p the textures don't look as good as you can probably tell right now but still it's just the ground the textures in the uh, stones and the trees and as well as the leaves uh, are still pretty damn impressive still here at medium setting so now we're in the deep part of the jungle so it's pretty much the worst case scenario here and we're seeing all, like around 60 fps more than 60 fps actually i haven't seen it drop from 60 to like 59 or 58 so yeah hopefully it will stay that way probably not i think we should be seeing a few less fps than 60 in a bit but yeah so far so good as long as we keep around that sweet 60 fps mark we should be fine here we just got a pineapple here so so far here at medium settings 1440p in an 80 1440p monitor it actually looks amazing guys it looks a lot crispier than for than uh, 1080p of course because this is an 80 1440p monitor and i would probably play it like this at medium settings but i will just probably uh, turn up the resolution of the textures a little bit here what the hell are you doing there yeah we're seeing now 50 something's fps i saw it drop like to 54 i guess i killed two guys with one shot I'm not really sure what happened here guys uh, it's quite windy here today as you can see by the leaves there the world feels really dynamic as you can see the reflections are still there on medium settings so yeah probably just turn up the texture quality a little bit and play it on medium because it looks pretty darn impressive still we got another gun I think we already got the this gun but yeah all right let's change it to high now all right 1440p any aliasing is still on high settings here across the board and yep 
you know that we have to disable motion blur. So now, okay, uh, 60 FPS. We're seeing like 60 FPS here, so we should probably be seeing like around 50 once we get to the jungle parts of the map. So this is still impressive here, still pretty good. The um, textures now look a little bit better, as you can probably tell. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop down there. Let's go to the jungle now. We've seen that we've dropped actually to like 50 something FPS right there. Yeah, when I zoom in here, uh, we're seeing like 59, 58 sometimes. This game looks awesome. I can't stop saying this, guys. I'm sorry, but it really does. And here I'm experiencing a new thing. It's at 1440p, so I haven't seen it at 1440p uh, before this video here. I just keep crashing on some things, you know, along the road. So yeah, let's follow this path over here, this re little river path kind of thing. Now we're seeing like, ooh, that's a huge jump. Wow. Yeah, we're seeing like around 55 FPS, I guess. It was the lowest, I'm not really sure. I wasn't paying too much attention because, well, don't pay attention to, the, your, to your FPS when you're driving, guys. That's a life rule right there no it's bugged i can't do any what the hell is going on are you crying dude don't cry it's amazing man open your eyes look at the world around you it looks so pretty and so good man everything looks awesome this game is super detailed they took into consideration everything look at this even the goddamn cards are super textured and look super good man my god this is so good and it's still on high settings, so yeah, I'm still gonna be testing very high settings here at 1440p, so it should be even better. I have no words for these graphics, this is just super good. I was really not expecting this once when I uh, actually started the game for the first time with it 1660 Ti, as I already told you. Uh, let's go now and do very high settings at 1440p. Alrighty guys, we're back here at very high settings, 1440p. And the aliasing is on, very high settings preset and I'm gonna disable motion blur. As you can see guys, game looks really better here. The textures in the ground look a lot better now. And wow, this is an amazing experience still. At 50 FPS, it, the game is completely playable. I mean, this, these types of games are playable at like 30 FPS as well, so no problems with that. Nice, we got a car now. Let's go! Let's go through the forest here a little bit, through the jungle. See our FPS inside the jungle. I wish I had like something like a tank or a LMV or something like that, so I could actually run through the uh, little trees. Hello, guys. Oh, I missed everyone there. Okay. Alright, not anymore. Uh, hello, guy. Bye, guy. Okay, do these guys have some weapons for me? Let's see. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Damn, I actually haven't tried this yet. Can I... Uh, I don't think you can chop down a tree with this. That's a little bit unfortunate. I think you can do it in like GTA 5. Not really sure though, not really sure, so don't quote me on that. So there's a ton of effects here from the bullets hitting the ground, as you can see. I already thought like the um, Ghost Recon Wildlands was pretty good looking, but this, this is just in another level, man. This is awesome. Oh, come on! <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, so we have something like a branch or something stuck to our car that just released itself. The car gets some damage here, guys. Damn. Very high settings is definitely playable here at 1440p. It looks really damn impressive, the game. Textures are pretty damn good. We're seeing like 5.5 gigabytes of VRAM used, so you should probably be able to increase the textures to Ultra or uh, Ultimate even and not see a VRAM bottleneck, so the game should run pretty good still on those texture settings. And now I'm gonna test 4K in this one, so that should be fun. Okay guys, so the problem here with 4K is that the game doesn't actually allow me to use 4K through NVIDIA's DSR, so I have no way to put it at the native resolution at 4K, like 3840 by... Wait a second. Wait a second. It wasn't... Oh, ho, ho. All right, guys, good news. I was actually going to try 1080p with 200% resolution scale, which isn't quite 4K, but it's almost there, you know. 
but it looks like I was wrong. I didn't actually see that because it's below 1440p. And I'm just, I'm just gonna disable anti-aliasing for this one because I feel this is such a high resolution that you don't really need it. And we're gonna be playing now at low settings and maybe medium settings or high settings if the game does well here. And we are seeing 50s. Huh, interesting. I was actually expecting a little bit less here considering that the game is so demanding. But as you can see on low settings, everything looks a little bit bland here. There's no good shadows or anti or uh, ambient occlusion, you know. Uh, the textures look pretty bad as you can see here in the terrain. And there's not quite as much vegetation going on. So yeah, let's pick this up, run around a little bit in the jungle. Let's see how much our VRAM is being utilized as well. Um, okay, so it's probably like the VRAM is gonna run around like 5 gigabytes. It's what I'm seeing here, I think. Like 4.8, almost 4.9. Okay, so you do need like 6 gigabytes of VRAM to play it at low settings. 4K. Game doesn't look too good here at low settings, of course. Let's get those guys over there. We're seeing like drops to the 40s. Damn! I would like to see a little bit more destruction here. Jesus. Jeez, I'm so low HP now. How am I so low HP? Right. Oh, oh, it's a chopper. I didn't notice that. Probably has some miniguns. Oh no, it's this guy. Alright, well, at least I got him. The chopper went away, okay. Alright, so I think we've seen enough at low settings 4K. The game doesn't look particularly good, you know. But it still doesn't look bad either. It just looks like a 2017 game, I guess. Are these bad guys? I think they are. Ooh! Oh! My god! What the hell? Whoa! Okay. Okay, get out of there. I'm gonna see the, this explosion here. That should be interesting. Wow. Explosions look pretty good, I just wish they were a little bit louder, I, you know? The smoke actually looks great here on low settings. Just get up, guy! Why? Get up! I want you to get up, okay? Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna change it to medium settings now at 4K. We're back here at medium settings, now you can see that the textures are a lot better than low settings. And we're at 4K, I'm gonna show you though, forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, 4K medium settings and I'm gonna disable motion blur because I noticed that so yeah we're still seeing like 30 plus FPS I guess we're in the jungle textures still don't don't look particularly good you know they look a lot better than low settings but for example in the distance as you can see here if you zoom in they actually load in but if you see them from a distance they don't look very good here but still the game's not bad looking here at medium settings Right, so yeah, as you can see here, medium settings textures is nothing like high or ultra settings, for example. But it doesn't look bad, at least. I like this sliding thing as well. Looks pretty good. We're seeing like 30 to 40 FPS. Almost always like in the upper 30s, low 40s. I was actually expecting this kind of performance for low settings at 4K, given that the game has so many details and it's so intensive in the GPU side of things but it's good to see that the GTX 1080 can still hang in there at 4k with this game that's not bad at all that's playable here guys I like this I like this very much we've seen enough of medium settings here because the video is getting too long okay we're back here at the same spot with high settings and this is impressive as we've seen there, we were getting like 34 FPS, but yeah, 4K, everything is on high settings. As you can see, this is a high settings preset. Wow, guys, we dropped FPS by like 5, I think. I think we were getting like actually 35 here with medium settings, so we're just seeing a couple of FPS lower here. This looks awesome here at 4K. Now the textures do look a lot better now at high settings compared to medium settings and we are actually seeing one gigabyte of VRAM more being utilized. The game is still playable here I would say, we're around 35 FPS. This, this is interesting, this is like the kind of FPS that we were getting actually with the GTX 750 Ti at 720p lowest settings. So yeah, 
that's that's interesting gtx 1080 is a lot more powerful of course than gtx 750 ti and they don't even compare you know uh, but still it's interesting to see inside the forest we actually didn't see it drop from uh, from 30 fps just gonna go around here a little bit more we're seeing 32 now we saw 31 as well, all oh, right, let's go. Hopefully I don't wreck this car completely. If you have a controller, it's completely playable. It's like a console-like experience, but with way better graphics, of course. This game actually feels like a, a next-gen type. Oh my God, okay. That was a little bit bugged there. 33 FPS, so yeah, I don't think it drops too much from 30. If it does, it will be to the high 20s, so it's not too bad. Just put a little bit of motion blur to make things feel a little bit more smoother and you should be fine. Let's go there and see our FPS inside of that little spot. Hi. Yeah, don't bother getting out of the car, you know. You're dead anyways. Hi, dudes. Let's fight a little bit here to end the video. Are you still alive? Not anymore. Nice. So yeah, it's definitely still playable here. We're still seeing above 30 FPS, so... Probably not the experience that you're looking for if you have a GTX 1080 unless you're expecting to play it like 4K in a big TV. We saw it drop to 29 there. Still, completely smooth here. Well, not completely smooth, that would be 60 FPS or more, but uh, still playable is what I mean. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, this look at the GTX 1080 here running the new Tom Clancy's. Ghost Recon Breakpoint, well, I gotta say, I'm actually impressed with the performance here with the GTX 1080. Hope you guys enjoyed it, I'll see you in the next one very soon, I love you all, bye bye.